Hello everyone, today I'm going to train you on the XRD machine Ultima 3 uh, and show you how to use the machine for your XRD analysis. On this video I'm going to show you how to use and operate the machine on the focus move and on the other videos I will go over other moves that this instrument can work. For your safety reason, you have our contact information here so you can call us if everything happens during the day or night in case you have an emergency situation on this room. Every three months, we measure the x-ray inside the room by these patches, one here, one here, one here, and one here to this wall. You can find the reports inside this uh, file. Anybody trained on this microscope receive a certificate. So after a while, you can find your certificate here. And uh, to begin with, you need to start logging here. And after you log in, you need to decide your method and pick uh, the right method from this table. So I assume that you picked the focus beam. I encourage you to go and uh, watch our uh, the other video, uh, which is introduction to the XRD on our website. That's help you to identify your uh, technique or method that you are going to use. So let's say right now your operation method is focus IMB. You need to know the manuals for their machine are located here. So in case of you have any question or any error happen, you can look into the manuals. There is a chiller heel that pulls down the X-ray machine. As you can see, it's 58 and sets it's 58 and the temperature is 58. And almost 1.304 is the flow rate of the chiller. Always, if the water flow is Fine, all the green lights at the back should be on. So that shows the flow rate of the chiller is good for the microscope. Whenever you get here, you should see that red light from the XRD on the top, it's on. That shows that the machine is on, the X-ray is on. But right now the shutter lights are off because the shutter is closed. This is the emergency shut off the electrical power to the machine. You're never gonna use it, but you need to know it's here. The emergency stop button is here. You are not gonna never to use this, but you need to know it's here. And our controls here. Right now the tube voltage is 40. The tube current is 44. You can control it from here. You are not gonna have it to touch it or you are not going to modify it from here, but you need to know what is this. So Power off and on the machine, X-ray on and off, the, volt, the tube voltage, the tube current, multiply these two numbers together, you have the power 1.76 kilowatt of the machine. We don't have shutter number one, shutter number two is installed and it's external, controlled by the software. Okay. In case of any error happen on this machine, you will, you will hear an alarm and you will see a code here on this screen. Write down the code and then push the reset button to cancel the alarm. You can find the troubleshooting table here to find or even call us and see what's going on with your machine. So let's start from here, from the table. As you can see, this table divided to two sections, right side, left side. And some of the parameters are right down next to them computer. So this means these computer ones are gonna be set inside uh, the computer program. But the rest, we need to set them manually, okay? So I assume that you know how to prepare your sample your sample is ready, you want to install it inside the machine. To install your sample inside the machine, always, always, when you want to open this door, you need to hit the door button. So you will hit the door button, 
you will hear that beep beep sound and then you can open the door so the door is open now as I said I assume that your sample is you know how to prepare your sample okay that's the sample holder which holds your sample different samples have different sample holders but assume that this is the right one for you so your sample is installed over there so we call this center right side left side remember the table there are two sides for the table right side and the left side let's bring the table over here and do the adjustment while we are working okay the selection slate is BB so selection slates are these two you have BB and PB. For this typical mode, you need BB. So pick BB. Either you can find it here or it's already installed inside the machine. Here, you can put the selection slit inside. As you can see, the writing should face the sample and this circle hole should stay out. So the writing is facing sample and the circle stay out. So you can put this up and then slide the slit in okay all right it's in so the selection slit is in this is the x-ray tube this is the monocore to selection slit and this is high limiting slit. We have three of these, open which is 10, 5 and 2. In case you need to reduce the area of the exposure, you can use either of these. But then you remember in the computer we need to save the same number that you choose here inside the software. So right now we are going to use open, we are not going to reduce the area of the extra exposure. Remember, we are using 10 for limiting, high limiting slit. So that's high limiting slit. Your sample. So as you can see, BB, this should be set inside the computer. High limiting slit, it's 10. Now to the right side, the PSA box. Okay, right side. Open the PSA box. Now. We have two components. For the focus beam, you need only five. So you see, it's five and 0 0.5. So use five, install it here. Shape beta filter, yes. Either you can find it here, or it's already installed here. So now it's installed here. And again, the rest, it's gonna be set inside uh, the software. Close the PSA box. That's your detector. We are not using a monochromator in this setting right now. Turn off the light. Take our table out. Keep it next to the software. And now close the door. Alright. When you are closing the door, be cautious. You don't want to hit this, this door very fast because if you close it very fast and this door moves the instrument will go out and you need to turn it on again now there are three different softwares here xj operation regoka control and standard measurement we start from xj operation on the xj operation you usually don't need to do anything but you are just checking as you can see by this button you can do power off and on same thing that you can do over there manually. Now you are controlling it by the software. You can put the X-ray on and off. Right now it's on, and you can age the system. Right now you don't want to do aging, but I will go on this on the other video. Right now we have 40 and 44. This is the working condition of this machine. So always make sure you are at 44, 40 and 44, 40, 40 kilowatt and 44 uh, milliamp. As you can see, it's match with the numbers that we 
uh, read on the machine. So we are done with this, we can close this. Second window, Rigunka control panel. You open that. On the Rigunka control panel, we are going to just do modification on this one. RINT 2200 write system. Double click on this. So remember, we are doing focus. The, the geometry of the system always is this. The attachment right now, it's the standard sample holder. The chain beta filter is installed. The detector is uh, counter and incident monocore as you as you saw it was monocore the slit should we are going to choose the focus one and monocore mater is not installed on the second tab x-ray beam type always make sure you have line and you have tail pop and on geometry system we are doing focus and then hit ok you will have this message appear on the screen. Make sure you are hitting yes. And then close this. Now, on the third one, on the standard measurement tab. Okay, first browse. Go to Ultima 3 data. Find your folder. Name your sample. So that's for where it's going to be saved. Either double click on condition or click on this condition. This will pop up. When you are doing uh, focus mode, your scan axis is 2 theta over theta. This is very important. So your scan axis is 2 theta over theta. Your method, I'm going over this on our, our, our other videos. But for now, I'm going to use FD method. And then the rest I'm going to change down here. You need to know what's your starting and what your stopping angle. Let's say 10 to 90, which is typical people use. I'm going to choose my step 0.05, my count time 1, the KV and milliamp match the numbers that we have on the machine. Now slide to the right. Divergent slit. Remember here, on the table, divergent slit is 0.6. So divergent slit should be 0 0.6. High limiting slit, you remember, it was 10. It will open. So we put number 10. If you are putting on it, if you are choosing or putting the other slits, you need to do, set it here. Scattering slit, it's 0 0.6. It's 0 0.6. Receiving slit, depending on good intensity or good resolution, you are picking 0 0.3 or 0 0.15. And the offset angle always for that focus beam should be zero. You set everything, close it, you're ready to go, and you execute your measurement by hitting OK. When you execute your measurement, if you see any message on the screen, hit OK for that message. Hit OK. Open the black screen. We should see the shutter light comes up. There we go. And the measurement started. We should see numbers at the bottom of this page, which we are seeing starting from 10. It's going from 10 to 90. 